2022 Grand Prix de France, Men and Ice Dance. Men is without question the hardest discipline for me to predict. The reason being the inconsistency of the men. In any given competition, the expected men winner can self-implode and be off the podium, and a relatively unexpected skater can have the skate of their life and end up on the podium. This event on paper was projected to be a win by Kazuki um, Tomoto, Tomono. And after the short, this seemed like it was possible. However, in the long a single triple axel and a step out on two out of his three quads took him from gold to bronze medal. Then we had um, Sota Yamamoto. He was a surprise silver here. After two years of injury recovery, Sota came back to the international competition. Sota delivered a nearly clean program in the short with just the triple axel being a little problematic for him. With two quad short programs, Sota found himself as the leader after the short program. Unfortunately, the stamina required for the long program, he just hasn't had, he just didn't have enough time being healthy to build that up yet. And the long program was a bit of a struggle for him, especially those triple axel. They just do not seem to be his jump. However, Sota still did enough to take home a silver here, which continues to show us the depth of Japanese men skating. Just like the women, men is going to be another bloodbath come nationals for Japan. The delightfully surprising gold medalist here was Adam Sion Hamfa. Overcoming the pressure of skating at home and delivering on the expectation, Adam gave one of his cleanest performances to date. I can't say that I really like his long program. However, I will say I love Adam's commitment and delivery of the program. Again, another clear winner in these games. Outside of the medal winners, the other long program that was worth mentioning was that of Xion Li, who went from seventh in the short to second in the long. If Xion can perform two clean programs, we may end up having a very interesting men's national showdown for South Korea. All in all, the men was again uneven and just a lot of technically proficient men who fail to deliver under pressure. Honestly, all of these men have quads and triple axel, and any of them at any time can become a Grand Prix winner, a national champion, a world champion. The problem is a lot of them do not have the mental mindset that enables a champion to deliver when it counts. That was what was great about Yuzuru Hanyu, Fernand, um, Fernandez. That was what was so great about Chen. It wasn't that they were necessarily the best all the time, but they can always pull it out and deliver when it counts. And a lot of these um, men skaters, that that's really their biggest problem, their inability to deliver when it counts. Now, moving on from men, we went into the ice dance. I want to start by saying Victor Lenoble was right. Marie-France Debris got the good work done in France. The podium was as Victor predicted with Charlene Guinard and Michael Fabry Gold, Laurence Fabry um, Fournier Boudry, and Nikolai Sorenstein Silver, and Yevgenia Loporova and Jeffrey Bazard Bronze. Before talking about the medalists, I want to talk about um, Julia Tokilia and Matthias Velus and Catherine Wolfskin and Jeffrey Chen. Both teams made mistakes here, and as a result, they ended up lower in the standing than was expected. Um, Huli, um, Julia and Matthias had a chance at the bronze medal here. However, a fall in the rhythm dance took the team out of the running.
As for Catherine and Jeffrey, a mistake in the lift and the rhythm dance and a shaky free dance literally signed their fate. Um, Katrina and Jeffrey are a really talented team. However, they are prone to mistake, and this was from their junior days, and it seems like that same tendency to make mistake has followed them into their senior debut. I honestly think this is one of the teams that the U.S. could really push up and see them rise up the ranks because they have the raw talent for it, especially Jeffrey. However, if they cannot overcome their tendencies to make mistakes during competition, they will end up as a very talented but very stagnant team. Um, hopefully their next outing, both teams will do much better. Now for the podium, starting with the bronze medalist, Yevgenia and Jeffrey. This was another team who was not clean in the rhythm dance, with Yevgenia making a mistake in the twizzles. However, the power of Marie-France de Brie was in full force here, as well as the power of the French Federation. And then to also be honest, the other teams here didn't really deliver that it seemed that absurd that the French Federation would pull what they pulled. Um, Yevgenia and Jeffrey came back in the free and they skated clean. I don't really love either one of their programs, but I don't hate it either. And I feel like I'm going to be saying that a lot this season about a lot of pairs and a lot of programs. The silver medalist in my favorite rhythm dance of this event was, um, was Lawrence and Nikolai. Honestly, I would have put Lawrence and Nikolai ahead in the rhythm dance. I really like this rhythm dance on them. The lifts are interesting, the storytelling intense, the movement and the footwork precise and clean. This team is getting stronger and stronger every year. The free dance was not as successful as the rhythm dance, um, mostly because they were missing out on several of their lift levels, several on their spin levels, footwork levels. Um, and that really was costly for them and the free dance, and it created a gap between them and the Italian team. However, if Lawrence and Nikolai work on cleaning up some of their levels, I can see them on the podium at Worlds if another team fails to deliver. Um, the gold medal went to Charlene and Marco. First, I will say I don't dislike either of their programs this year. I don't love either of their programs either, but I feel like these programs, especially the Rhythm Dance, is the best that I've seen them presented so far. It's much better than some of their previous offering. Based on their technical difficulties, this was the correct outcome. Charlene and Marco were the clear winners here. They weren't perfect, but they were the clear winners here. Unfortunately, unlike the other disciplines where clear leaders are starting to emerge after a few competition, ice dance is the one discipline that it becomes harder and harder for me to pick the leading teams as the season progress. Before Skate America, I would have said that Madison Chalk and Evan Bates are the clear front winners for the season. But given their underwhelming rhythm dance and their hot mess of a free dance, that statement is no longer true. That also depends on what the team decides to do. If they decide to take the loss and keep the program as is, I think Madison and Evans may lose their chance to win not only the Grand Prix series, but also the world title. As for Piper Gillis and Paul Poirier, their scores at Skate Canada was inflated. That, that's just my basic opinion. I feel like that was that home ice plus five advantage score, which means we don't know what their true score is and where they will place overall. It is possible that their scores may come down to the 81-85 range when they go compete at another Grand Prix. However, at the same time, the judges may decide to honor the scores they got at Skate Canada and maybe just raise everyone else's scores. We will have to see. I know on paper the three top teams should be Madison and Evan, Piper and Paul, Charlene and Marco. However, I honestly feel like if the judges would go based on the skating taking place on the ice instead of seniority, instead of, you know, 
standings instead of, you know, instead of all of these other political factors, then some of the teams that are like in fourth to seventh would probably end up at the podium both at the Grand Prix final and at the Worlds. Only because I feel like some of the four to seven teams have better materials, or have better deliveries, have more enthusiasm or more hungry or going for these medals more than the established team. However, we do understand that ice dance more so than most of the other disciplines is all about seniorities. It's all about reputation. It's all about putting in the time to get the reward. So it's very likely that the judges will remain with the expected three top teams instead of justly rewarding one of the four to seven teams who on that day probably outskated one of the top three. However, that is just my thought on where I see ice dance going this season. What about you guys? What did you think of this competition? And where do you see the scoring going this season on ice dance? Let me know. Leave me a comment.